Luna Classic Ecosystems had some wild stuff going on the last couple of days. I'm going to break this down for you and give you kind of an update of what's going on here. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content, and let's kick this off. So guys, Duquan was found liable with Terraform Labs for defrauding crypto investors out of $40 billion. Now, uh, one of the weird things about this is they're not really looking, they're looking to blame somebody for the management of the process. That's the SEC's job. They're not looking to find the people that actually did it. They don't care about the people who actually did it because the people who actually did it are friends of the U.S. government. Uh, so they do not care about how it depegged. However, uh, it does in this, they took the white paper, which was uh, written by Duquan. The idea was the extreme volatility seen in speculative cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blah, 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 uh, was going to uh, keep this thing stable that he had created this system, right? Well, uh, he, he did, in fact, create a system. Unfortunately, uh, in that system, on May of 2021, uh, UST fell below a dollar, and they were able to reestablish the peg only by secretly convincing a third-party investor to repurchase a massive amount of the cryptocurrency. After USTC had been repegged, Juan falsely claimed that Terraform's algorithm had saved the project without any human intervention. So uh, he deceived everybody in May of 2021. And then, of course, there was a massive sell-off of UST. Wait a minute. Wasn't there somebody a year ago who bought a massive amount? So the only people that would be capable of doing it later on was, hmm. That's the kind of stuff there that you realize, um, you know, you're, you're talking about jump crypto trading and jump crypto trading. They were behind the DPEG and everything. Now, if you want to help uh, do some burning of Luna tokens, make sure you sign up for weeks today. Terra Casino, uh, if you want to do that, that's, by the way, they they do burn Luna Classic as well. Uh, most of this content is brought to you by that. Uh, so uh, let's check out a little bit more. And let's get a little bit more information about what's going on, though. So price action, we have no real updates. Uh, you know, trading at three zeros 13 right now. Uh, nothing really happening in the Commonwealth right now. So... Uh, when you come over to station for governance, there's no proposals. Everything's just kind of uh, calm, if you will, for right now. So let's break out a little price action, check and see where we are. All right, so uh, we're at the point of control right now, kind of bouncing around uh, in this three zeros, 1380 sort of range uh, with a little spike up here to 14,450 uh, at one point yesterday. Looked like a recovery was underway. Uh, as you guys might know, the market then collapsed again for about $40 billion overnight, which of course led to this downward sort of pressure. Uh, I got this nice wick down here at the bottom, which does signify in my impression here that we're in an uptrend now and probably uh, going to mint a few more highs in the local time, probably in this 15 range uh, as this starts to fix itself. Now, the question before we get to that is, uh, what does this uh, Duquan effect really look like overall? Because Luna, same thing, down about 3.5% uh, over the course of this 24 hours. USTC not holding up as well either. Uh, USTC down to 0.26 cents, down 3% as well. So uh, what do we attribute that to and what can we do about it? Well, for the moment, it really comes down to there's more volume coming in, but that's sell-off volume when that happens. Now you've got a 1% increase in the market cap overall, uh, but... Uh, that's, again, because we had a nice little dip over the last bunch of days. USTC, you're seeing, does not have the same sort of um, uh, kickback. Uh, it's down 1.7%. And the volume is down another 5% to almost under $10 million per day. So uh, a lot of weirdness going on in this market. Uh, again, I've never felt good about USTC. Guys, I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I feel really good about USTC. So uh, you can certainly check it out. Uh, at some point in the future uh, and you never know when it's going to erupt by the way so if you had a little bag make sure that you're uh ready for just a, a quick sort of move all right guys this portion of it's going to be brought to you by terra casino so if you want to check these guys out uh then you certainly are welcome to do that uh address is right up here you can, you can plug that in if you want to uh, and go check that out but let's talk about a new project in this ecosystem uh, a new one in this space. First of all, before we do that, uh, let's go over here and look at the burns. Total 38%, 41.89 billion. 
uh, have been burned on chain so far. Here's how much is in the burn wallet. This is the total amount burns. Remember, you can go to luckmetrics.com at, at any time. Check out what the burn looks like overall. But I'm going to get into, uh, we've got a white paper here. This is galacticshift.io. This is a TCG. It's a uh, decentralized trading card game built on blockchain technology. It uses NFTs for in-game assets. The game employs smart contracts. To ensure secure transactions, players can collect, trade, and battle with unique cards representing various characters, items, powers, traps across four factions, Mars, Terra, Cosmos, and Luna. Uh, there is, by the way, in this white paper, a breakdown of your gameplay, how you uh, create your deck, what the energy system is, how to do everything that you need to do. And uh, this is the intro for it. And now let's watch a little bit of gameplay. So guys, if you're interested in a game like this, if you're looking for TCG games, uh, these card games uh, with NFTs are probably going to be one of the next big uh, things in gaming. So uh, galacticshift.io, if you want to come check that out. And it's galacticshift.io slash white paper if you'd like to go read about it and learn a little bit about it before making any sort of investment in it. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. Um, but this is something that's being built on the Luna Classic chain, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring you new things that are built on this chain every single day. And uh, thank you so much for your support. Remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.